So you have a plan nine or nine front server running and you want to serve more stuff. This means running a listener and listen is just a regular command that can be ran from the shell or inserted into various startup scripts. There are some pre-made service scripts in bin services, uh, but you can always make your own. And there's also a command called listen one that is for quick hosting of services and even setting it up so it quits after serving a connection one time. A uh, common use for listen is to serve up parts of the file system. Various Plan 9 community websites will do this to let others remotely mount file systems containing source code and the like. And on the client side, you use the serve command and that'll let you mount or bind to stick other people's file systems in your namespace. Uh, to see a demonstration of some of that, you can check the 9fs script. Um, the same one you use to mount your uh, boot partition also has some stuff in it for mounting remote file systems already built in. Before going any further, I'm going to go off on a detour to make this demonstration more fun. Uh, Sigrid has been working on some cool audio stuff for Ninefront, and one of those projects is a port of CMU's flight text-to-speech program. Uh, if you want to try it, be sure to install the NPE library first, and I'll have links to that below. So I'm doing this on the RCPU'd into the demo CPU server, because it has speakers hooked up to it. So I run flight and redirect it into the audio device. Can you hear me? I am talking. So to save the uh, hassle of having to always put in the redirect, and because it'll cause me problems later when I'm trying to chain together redirects, I made a little script that will just do it for me. Does this work? Yes, it does. So back to services. Uh, not only can you set part of the file system up as a service, uh, you can have listen um, also just take incoming connections and send it straight to any program you want. And so what we're gonna do here is we have one set up to pipe it straight into the chatter script. So this runs the simple listener here. Oops, I'm gonna put a one in. Uh, the T means to run it as user Galendo, so it has access to the audio devices. V is for verbose output. TCP is for TCP. The exclamation mark is just a separator. Uh, the asterisk just means to listen on any IP address that this computer listens to, and 9999 is the port it'll listen on. And this is what it's going to run. So there it is. It's running now. On the client side, we run serve TCP again for the demo CPU on this port. And now it should be listed in the serve directory. And there it is. So the serve directory is a special sort of device rather than a plain directory to which um, files are added or bound or whatever, things that are posted to serve are available in all the namespaces on the computer. So in this case here, talk isn't a file system that can be mounted anywhere to read files in and out of. It's basically one end of a pipe and the other end is a program expecting text. And in this case, we do have to specify that we are appending text to it. This is a test. Remote text to speech. And there we go. A short demonstration on how you can take almost any program, even a shell script, and put it up as a server on the network. And as always, have fun.